Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to hop on here, do a quick review about my Craftsman 6 gallon, 150 PSI uh, pancake air compressor. And this compressor comes with a compressor. There's also a number of air fittings as well as a, uh, as well as a hose to come with this as well. So this is really a complete plug and play kit. Now I got this because I recently got an air nailer and uh, air nailers require compressed air and the little compressor that I have mounted in my truck is not enough. So I picked this one off. It seemed to have really good reviews. Uh, coming out of the box, it was packed pretty well. There was just some, uh, the box is actually over there. Uh, coming out of the box, it was pretty well. It was, uh, there was just zip ties, not zip ties, uh, twist ties everywhere, keeping everything secure. Nothing was broken. The top here is plastic. Uh, it is a plastic body up here, but the, uh, but the tank itself obviously is a metal and I've been using Craftsman stuff for a while, and it is, uh, it's fairly well built. I have a Craftsman lawnmower. I've got a couple of the Craftsman tools that have just been running for, uh, for years and years and years. So let's kind of go through the, uh, the air fittings here. So there's, there's actually a couple of things here. The only thing is they don't give you anything to store them all in, so they're going to go in my little box of other air fittings. But uh, right off here, it looks like they give you the uh, little trigger for your, basically it's just a trigger action so that you can use, uh, use these fittings here. They give you a tire compressor, a tire pressure gauge, which I have no confidence this could blow up a tire fairly quickly if my little teeny one can do it. You also get uh, your quarter inch uh, NPT fittings. Basically, these are, there's two male fittings right through here, so that way you can attach them to not just this air hose, but any air hose. You also get, uh, this is actually your Schrader valve fitting that will, uh, that will screw on the top. This, is, this will actually just go onto the valve stem of a tire. You get a needle so that you can actually blow up any kind of like pool floaties or anything like that. This is a pretty cool little adapter to get. Uh, this guy here is looks to be, this is to hold a needle. Where is, hang on. I apologize. This is actually the fitting that will screw in and make your adapter so that you can fit the needle if you're looking to, uh, looking to blow up a football or a basketball or something like that. Although that needle on that compressor seems like a little bit of overkill. But nevertheless, they do give you everything that you need to, uh, to apply compressed air to whatever job that you're on. It's all the fittings. It's a pretty universal kit. Let me, uh, let me get this together. It's really simple. It's just gonna be uh, the hose. It's just gonna be the hose on one end. Here's your same, your, your NPT fitting. Hose goes into one, either one of these two, the 90 degree or the straight. And then the other side is going to accept one of these particular uh, one of these particular setups. Let me get that set up and then I will come back. All right, so all I did here was I took the uh, the quarter inch uh, MPT and kind of popped it into the side here. I also took the screw and I screwed in one of the uh, one of the one of the adapters into the back of this little trigger mechanism. And this here was just a it was a 14 millimeter wrench. I just kind of good took in that way the uh, the thread sealant and like almost like the Loctite data, that keeps an airtight seal. Took me a little bit to go there. And then for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna use this little rubber nozzle so that I can just show the, uh, show the compressed air kind of blowing stuff off. But again, this is a universal thread. You can put any attachment on here that you wish. So let's get this, uh, let's get this hooked up and we're gonna fire this thing up. It's just a regular, it's a regular outlet into the wall. Give me one second. All right, so we're here, we're plugged into the extension cord. Again, it's just a regular standard three prong outlet. And then let's see how loud it is. There's a simple on off switch here. Now, if I had read the directions, I would have realized that there is a bleeder valve here on the bottom that needs to be closed. So this is, uh, I guess this is to prevent any moisture that might build up between manufacturing and now. Uh, I was wondering why I wasn't getting any kind of pressure, but I do actually have to close that, uh, that bleeder valve. All right. <sighs> Let's turn it back over. We'll get this one set up here. Let's see if we start getting any pressure. And as you can see, we're fully aired up. They were aired up right there at 150 PSI, and we've got a regulator pressure of 150 PSI. Uh, this is enough to run a nail gun. In fact, again, I'm gonna wear a nail gun later. And from the time I plugged it in and hit the on button, it's now being held off by a pressure switch. Uh, it took this to, uh, from zero to this, it took about five minutes to get fully aired up. 
And then as you can see, I've got plenty of air pressure here. Uh, let's see how long it takes for it to kick back on. There it is, it kicks right back on. And then there you go. You see we aired back up in about a minute. So overall, really, really great compressor for the average homeowner DIYer. If you gotta need an air compressor to run something, I don't know that I would run a professional job site with this, but for the average hobbyist, this is plenty. So yeah, I recommend this product. I think it's built really well.